Rat! Scarlet, my dear little sister. It's all right, Corporal. My sister has brought me no files or the saws. Can I really kiss you now? Yes, on the forehead, like a good brother. No thanks. I'll wait for men hope for better things. Oh, Rhett, I was so distressed when I heard they were going to hang you. Is it true, Rhett? Is it really true? Would you be sorry? Oh, oh Rhett. Well, don't worry. Yet. The Yankees have trumped up some charges against me, but they're really after my money. They seem to think I'll make off with the Confederate Treasury. Well, did you? What a leading question, but let's not talk about sort of things like money. How good of you to come and see me, and how pretty you look. Oh, Rhett, you do run on making fun of a country girl like me. Thank heavens you're not in rags. I'm tired of seeing women in rags. Turn around. You look good enough to eat. Prosperous, yes. too. Yes, I'm doing very well. Everybody at Tara's doing very well. We're a little bit bored, but we can't complain. You're a heartless creature, but that's part of your charm. You know, you've got more charm than the law allows. Now, I didn't come here to talk silliness with you, Rhett. I came here because I was so miserable when I thought about you in prison. And not even a regular horse prison, but with horses. <laughs> now, I know that you were mad at me last night, and you left me on the road, and I have not forgotten. <laughs> Scarlet, can it be possible? Well, I will admit, I would not be alive right now if it were not for you, Red. But when I think of myself and everything I could possibly hope for and not a care in the world, and here you are in this horrid horse jail, well, Red, listen to me. It's enough with jokes. I think I shall cry. Can it be possible? Can what be possible, Red? That you've gotten a woman's heart, a real woman's heart? Well, it's worth being in jail just to hear you say that. I've got to drop the Moonlight and Magnolia, Scarlet. So things have been going well in terror, have they? Well, sure, hunky-dory. <laughs> what have you been doing with your hands? Oh, it's just that I went horseback riding last week and I forgot my gloves. Those don't belong to a lady. You've been working with them in the field, haven't you? Why do you lie to me? What are you really up to? Now, Rhett. And another minute, I uh, believe you actually cared for me. But I do care. Suppose we get down to the truth. You want something from me, and you want it badly enough to put on quite a show in your velvets. What is it, money? Claro que si. I want 300 buckaroonies, Rhett. I need to pay the taxes on Terra. And, well, Rhett, I did lie to you when I said everything was all right. But you have millions, right, Rhett? What collateral are you offering? How about my ear bobs? Not interested. Uh, a mortgage on Terra. What would I do with a farm? Uh, you wouldn't lose. I'll pay you out of next year's cotton crop. Not good enough. Have you nothing better? But, Rhett, you once said you loved me. Did you forget? You haven't forgotten I'm not a married man? You're not worth $300? You'll never mean anything but misery to any man. Oh, go on, go on. Insult me. I don't care what you say, but give me the money. I won't let Tara go down. I just won't with a breath left in my body. Oh, Rhett, please, please, give me the money. I couldn't give you the money if I wanted to. My funds are in Liverpool, not Atlanta. If I tried to drawing a draft, the Yankees be on me like a duck on a June bug. So you see, my dear, you've abased yourself to no purpose. Take your hands off me, you skunk. You knew what I was going to say before I started, and you were not going to lend me the money. And yet you let me on. I enjoyed hearing what you had to say. Cheer up. You can come to my hanging, and I'll remember it in you and my will.